Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do application of the triangle theorems that you have learned. Now let's read what they're giving us. They're telling us that BC is 44. They're also telling us that AB is 2 of DB. If they're telling us that AB is 2 of DB, then it means that this side is equal creating a similar ratio. So if you look at the triangle, I have a similar ratio. Now if you look at that, immediately you should say, hey, but if I have a parallel line and I have same side, then that means it's also the midpoint of the other side. So where is it cutting? What is equal? I will be able to say that AE is equal to EC and the reason is midpoint to one side and parallel to another. So I do have now that AE is equal to EF. Okay. Then it says that 2db is equal to 4gb. Now that means if I take 2db, 2 of this, it's equal to 4 of gb. They are telling us that gb is equal to dg. So again we've got the same concept. If you're looking now at the different triangles that are available to us, you'd be able to see the same rule. Now let's go on to the question. They're asking us to calculate d E. Now, if you're looking at the triangle, let us look at the yellow triangle. So we're ignoring everything else. If you look at the yellow triangle, we have that DB and AD are equal, and we've got that AE is equal to EC. We've also got that they are parallel. So what can we say about DE and BC? DE is going to equal to a half of BC. And why? We know it's the midpoint theorem. The theorem states if I have two sides that are equal, so we're looking at the X, remember? So that's the midpoint and the opposite side is also the midpoint. Then the lines are parallel, which is also given. Then it is half. So DE is going to equal to a half of 44, which is going to equal to 22. DE is equal to 22. Now they're asking us to calculate GF. But GF, they, you can't say, hey, I'm using the triangle GFA. Because look, this side is not equal to this side. Neither is DG equal to GA. So we can't use the rule where we can say, hey, you know what, it's just half and let me take it. We have to look for triangles that would actually apply that rule. Now let's take this specific triangle. If we take that triangle, we know that GB is equal to DG because it was given to us. We also know that BC is parallel to GO. So what we can say is that GO is equal to a half of BC. Why is it equal to a half of BC? Because we've got midpoint to one side and parallel to another. So you must understand which triangle I'm working with. I'm working with B, D, C. I know they parallel and I know they equal. So you must be able to understand which triangle I am working with. Now that gives me the length of GO. So I have that GO is going to equal to a half of 44, which is equal to 22. But that is not answering my question because now I've got a piece, but I don't have the other piece. Now, if we've proven that BCD is a midpoint theorem, then I can say 
that D O is equal to O C. D O is equal to O C. And our reason is midpoint to one side. parallel to another. If that is equal, then I know that look, pay attention to which triangle I'm using now. Now I'm going to use this triangle. Now I have that it's parallel. I've got that DE is parallel to GF. That was given. So since they parallel and I have that they are midpoints, I can say that OF OF is equal to a half of DE. What you need to notice is that we're working with the triangle upside down now. I'm working here, I've got 22 and I'm working here. So you're working with the triangle upside down. So we have that OF is equal to a half of DE. Now, our reason is still midpoint to one side, parallel to another. So we've got OF is going to equal to a half times 22, which is going to equal to 11. So what is the final length of GF? GF is going to equal to GO plus OF. GO is 22, OF is 11. So the final length of GF is going to be 33 units. Okay, now if you continue, they say calculate the length of GO, which we've already done, and calculate the length of OF. Now we've answered all the questions. There is GF, and the very first one was. DE. Thank you for watching.